All right, guys, so I've made some changes. I made some optimizations. Uh, it took me about a day to, to work on some stuff, but here's the results from Apple stock from January 1st, 2020 till today. Uh, it ends up just over, I believe, $1,500, $1,600 in profit. And for the majority of the time, it is green. Um, so let's talk about the changes that I made to the code, the optimizations, and um, let's look. Let's take a look at it. So I'm gonna pull my code here. All right, so some of the changes I made were a couple things. So I added a variable called min gap, okay? This is the minimum amount of gap for it to trade. By default, it's 10, but in my optimizations, I made it, what was it, five. So we need to see a minimum gap of at least $5 uh, for it to make the trade. I added a variable called stop which is the amount of dollars in for it to stop um, the trail. So with a trail with a trail stop order, when you place the trade, it's really good when it trends, but as soon as it reverses and um, that stop, the amount of dollars say it reverses $50, it will stop the trade and either hopefully take some profit or for a loss. Um, I have a is trade long and is trade short booleans. So by default, just long is true. Um, but for my optimization, um, yes, it's only trading long it, it never goes short. And we have a min minimum volume variable as well. So there needs to be a minimum amount of volume for us to trade. And I've optimized it to 30,000 shares. Okay. Which we, when it gaps, when the new, um, session starts, the new market open hits 9.30 a.m. Eastern, we need to see at least a minimum volume of 30,000 shares, okay? So that's great, and that's pretty good results. I've changed the code as well. So we've added those new variables. We've added this line of code as well, which checks for the minimum gap, and it's checking, all right, it's getting the absolute value of prior close minus today's close, and if that's less than the minimum gap, don't trade. So we set stop trading to true, which means don't trade. We put our trail stop up here. If we're in a flat position, set trail stop equal to uh, ticks and then the stop value. So right now I have it set to 500. Uh, and that would be, let's check the chart here of our trades. Um, okay, here we go. So it's not $500. It looks like it's probably it's 500 ticks so in this case it's cents so 500 cents which would be i guess five dollars okay so here's an example of a trade it made on apple buying and then trail stop so i'll go back to the code there and then we have this part of code which checks for the minimum volume and if it's greater if the current volume is greater than the minimum volume it will work and then we have our if statements uh, for going short and for going long with the gap reversal strategy. Okay, so this code's all the same. Okay, so this is our strategy. This is our gap reversal strategy. Now, how does it work with TD Ameritrade? Okay, because I titled this video TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim Trading Bot. So I'm using the NinjaTrader platform to build this strategy and backtest it. Like I said, TD Ameritrade has their own API, meaning you can write software to trade for it, but you have to write it from scratch and it would, you know, you'd have to write your own backtesting software from scratch and, and, you know, commissions and all that stuff. It would be a lot more work and it would make this video a lot longer. If you guys want to see that video from scratch, a TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim um, bot, let me know in the comments below. I might make it. We'll see. It's, it's going to be quite a time commitment, but um, it's much faster with NinjaTrader. So in NinjaTrader, I can make a new connection by hitting connections configure and then selecting TD Ameritrade, hitting add, and then hitting authorize, and it will actually go to their website and I can log in, okay? So that's how it worked with TD Ameritrade. Um, you obviously would have to buy NinjaTrader because it is a third-party broker, but that's how you'd connect it with TD Ameritrade. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to end this video here and then for the next month, I'm going to try this gap reversal strategy and I'll make a video in 30 days with the results of this gap reversal strategy to see 
if it works, right? A lot of YouTubers and day traders use it. Let's put it to the test. So expect a video 30 days from now with the results of this gap reversal strategy. The link to the code is in the description below. Obviously it only works with Ninja Trader, like I said, but we can work on a app for the future. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found value uh, with this gap reversal strategy. I'm super excited to make a video in the future. We got a cat here and um, yeah, we'll see you guys next week and stay tuned 30 days from now, 30 days, 30, I don't know if that, I don't know if that works. Stay tuned 30 days from now, I'm going to make an update video about this bot and the results. Okay. So we'll see you guys next week. Hope you enjoy this video and leave a comment below, like, and subscribe if you found value and yeah, we'll see you.